gauss jordan method in this video we shall explain how gauss jordan method is used to solve a system of linear equations we take a system of linear equations and write it in matrices form here the matrix of coefficients is denoted by a the matrix of unknowns is denoted by x and the matrix of constants is denoted by b we form the augmented matrix by adding the matrix of constants matrix of constants b to matrix of coefficients a now according to gauss jordan method we shall transform this augmented matrix into a reduced echelon form by using elementary row operations and in this case uh, we shall uh, reduce the matrix of coefficients a to the identity matrix as we have uh, three equations in three variables therefore we shall transform the matrix of coefficient a to i3 that is the matrix of uh, coefficients a will be transformed into identity matrix of order 3 by using elementary row operations let's have a glance at elementary row operations the first one is interchange of any two rows the second is a row can be multiplied by a non-zero number and three a non-zero multiple of one row can be added to another row now we reduce the augmented matrix into echelon form using the row operations uh, the first non-zero element in first row is one we make elements below it zero for this we multiply row one by two and subtract it uh, from row two and multiply row one by five and subtract it from row three after applying uh, these row operations we are left with uh, this transformed augmented matrix now note that uh, we are to transform the matrix of coefficients into identity matrix of order 3 for this we need 1 in place of uh, this 7 which is first non zero element in second row uh, to make uh, uh, this element 1 we subtract or 3 from or 2 after uh, performing uh, this operation we are left with the, the following uh, transformed augmented matrix the first non zero element in row 2 is 1 we make elements above and below it zeros for this we multiply row 2 by 2 and add it to row 1 and multiply row 2 by 6 and subtract it from R3. After uh, performing these uh, row operations, we are left with the transformed uh, augmented matrix 1, 0, minus 6, minus 7, 0, 1, minus 2, minus 3, 0, 0, 19, 24. Now, we need uh, 1 instead of 19 which is the first non-zero element in row 3 to make uh, this 19 1 we divide row 3 by 19 uh, by performing uh, this row operation we are left with this transformed augmented matrix The first non zero element in row 3 is 1. We make both elements above this element 1 zeros. For this, we multiply row 3 by 6 and add it to row 1 and uh, uh, multiply row 3 by 2 and add it to row 2. After uh, performing these two uh, row operations, 
we get the transformed uh, augmented matrix of this form now note that this form is a reduced echelon form so the criteria for gauss jordan method has been established uh, also note that the matrix of coefficients has been transformed into identity matrix of order 3 so now we write the solution uh, of this uh, system of linear equations from row 1 we get x1 to be 11 over 19 from row 2 x2 to be minus 9 over 19 and from row 3 x3 to be 24 over 19 therefore uh, by gauss jordan method we have uh, uh, find the solution of uh, the given uh, system of linear equations to be x1 is equal to 11 over 19 x2 is equal to minus 9 over 19 and x3 is equal to 24 over 19